The Rangitata Diversion Race supplies water to three Canterbury irrigation networks, including the Mayfield Hines scheme. Among the farmers who use that water is Mark Slee, who is a large herd farmer on an 800 hectare effective block. Mark is a director of Irrigation New Zealand and a past director of Rangitata Diversion Race Management Limited. Yeah, I'm first generation dairy farmer, I guess. We brought up on a sheep farm and we shifted to Canterbury in, from Southland in the, in the late 80s. And we've been dairying here for, yeah, since 1987, so good 20 plus years now. Mark uses a combination of centre pivots, border dike and K-line irrigation systems. He uses technology to help him apply precisely the amount of water needed to grow grass. This is a Aquaflex logging sensor which, which really is just a soil moisture probe in the ground. It's a long thin strip of plastic which senses the soil moisture and that information is what we use which is fed back to the, the dairy shed through this solar panel and it's telemetered back to the dairy shed. There's readings taken, I think it's every three hours that it reads the soil moisture and yeah that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's a, it's a simple system um, and if the soil moisture is at the right level this, we're going to grow your optimal amount of grass. If the, if the ground's too moist um, then you have you actually grow less grass and equally if things get too dry your grass growth drops away so it's just keeping that balance of the soil moisture at the right levels and this is a um, you know this is a scientific way of doing it really without um, just instead of just going by gut instinct really. So here we've got field capacity um, that can't take any more moisture so that that's the level where you need to stop irrigating and then we have the refill point here which is when we have when obviously conditions get dry and refill point is is the point where plant growth will start getting restricted if you don't irrigate uh, at times after a rain it's quite difficult to know when to start irrigating again you think okay we've had a really good rain and using this computer modeling or the this aquaflex program allows us to see when to start irrigating again. So you can see when you've had this rain, it's been one, two, look at those grids, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Basically a whole full week has gone by before we've started the irrigating. And we've just, there's been a wee blip of irrigation going there as the pivot's gone around. And then um, there's another lot of irrigation going on there. So we're just trying to keep it within those tram lines. By doing that, we're using a lot less water um, than if we didn't have any of this information. So it's, it's benefiting us because we're using less water, it's costing us less electricity. Um, you're having less leaching of water through, through the soil profile. And yeah, it's just a good, it's a good management tool that, that, that saves you money. And it's better, for, yeah, it's better for the environment as well. The modern irrigation systems are as efficient as we can get at the moment. And we will keep finding ways of being more efficient if we can.